there stayed at safety predominantly, or have you got any extra work since you are? Yeah, I, I've, I've played safety predominantly. Is there a mental hurdle? Um, I wouldn't say – it was less about coming back to practice because by the time I was at the, at the stage where I could practice, I'd already proved to myself and, you know, proved to my mental and, that, and to my body that I was able to, you know, uh, endure all the physical um, parts of the game. Um, but, I mean, I would say the biggest part of the mental hurdle was, you know, initially getting hurt because, um, you know, losing, losing the ability to do what you love. Um, <clears throat> in that instant, you know, a lot of things go through your head, you know, why me, like uh, – did I deserve this? You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's all a part of the journey, you know? So I wouldn't say I'm happy that it happened, but I'm grateful because it, it you know what I'm saying, allowed me to view this game in, in a, from a different perspective, so. Obviously, some guys are gone from one team to the other. Listen, it's like 15 years of still. So what does this keep carrying you? Do you see it that way with that group? I definitely see it very cohesive. I mean, in our room, we're very, we're all very supportive of each other. Um, you know, we all want to just see each other, each other grow and each other learn, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's no animosity in the room or anything like that. We all just want to see each other um, know be their best because if, if we're all at our best and we're all helping each other and being great teammates you know that's just that helps to be success of our room and not only our room but our team so what does too much go for you the other night and what, what's the biggest thing you've got to do uh yeah again well first of all just being back in new and playing again you know it was so fun um but you know i guess it just comes down to you know uh, playing situationally that's that's always a big thing and that's always something you can't replicate until you're you know in a in a true game like scenario you know you can do that practice but but even in a scrimmage, it feels a little bit different. So I would just say, uh, you know, playing situational football is, you know, uh, incredibly important. Good break down on Jamal McCoy. Yeah, Jamal McCoy, very, very, very explosive guy, man. Um, a, a guy that has a lot, a ton of ability. Um, and, and so far, he showed flash. You know, what I'm saying of being able to get the ball and um, be a playmaker for our team. So I'm very excited for what he's going to bring us during the season for sure. Obviously, Will Brooks has replicated. Yeah, man, Will Brooks. Just talk about like a just talk about a commander, you know, a guy that you can look to no matter what, um, and just very easy to communicate with. You know, what I'm saying a guy that a guy that that knows the room and knows the playbook in and out. So you know, what I'm saying just having the utmost amount of confidence in Will. You know, you can look to him at any time, have any kind of question about anything in the playbook. You could, you could be a D lineman and ask him about a stunt. He knows, you know, what I'm saying what to what to tell you. Uh, or if you're a linebacker, ask him about a fit, and he can help you. Um, so I, I see I see a leader in Will Brooks. You know, a guy that knows what he's talking about for sure. People said during the scrimmage that the secondary looked good in tight coverage. Where do you guys think you've improved the most in this down the field tight coverage? Um, I would say, you know, exactly what you said, you know, down the field. Um, with with the offense like ours, you know, uh, got you know, quick throws and then, you know, longer, deeper route concepts. You know, it's important to cover, you know, not only um, quickly, but, you know what I'm saying, cover for longer downfield because of our, our quarterback's abilities, you know what I'm saying, to get out of the pocket and make plays happen. So. What was your takeaway when you said you guys are kind of working hard and dedicating this? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, four, four is a big, a big part of our room. Yeah, a leader in our room. So, definitely some inspiration for him. Um, I would say that 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 started in the spring. You know, what I'm saying he he obviously showed those flashes of that of the playmaking ability. Um, you know, what I'm saying just getting his hands on the ball. So, I would say that's the biggest thing. And, and you know, we all know what he did when he was in high school. You know, with the ball in his hands. So. Um, he he has that you know what I'm saying that that bit of that it, that it factor that makes him different you know what I'm saying he he has that ability so. Couple more. What about uh, Christian Harrison? He's kind of been waiting his turn. How like Jordan Thomas last season? For sure. What is what kind of connection? Uh, he's he, he's had a pretty good camp. Um, I would say he's he's been pretty consistent. Um, that's the word I would use for Christian for sure. Um, you know, playing and play out, he's been willing to communicate and willing to you know get on the same page with uh the whole the whole back end, which in essence is the most important thing. Um, so. You know, I would say with Christian, there hasn't been very, there hasn't been very many breakdowns in communications or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just very tight in coverage. So he's had a good camp so far, for sure. I think we spoke about tie into the injury stuff, but how, how comfortable do you feel at safety now? Uh, you know, you've got a neck in there and you're going to play. Uh, I, I feel super comfortable. You know, I've, I've had the opportunity, you know, to flip back and forth between playing corner and safety. And I guess just playing both positions really kind of broadens my view. Um, you know, and allows me to, you know, what I'm saying, bring different characteristics and different play styles from, you know, one to the other. And playing corner, more, more of a man, more in man techniques. Um, um, you know, what I'm saying, matching feet more, and then getting back to safety. You know, what I'm saying, being playing the quarterback a little bit more and things like that. And I, I feel like the fact that I've gotten the opportunity to play both positions has really kind of broadened my view and really um, upgraded my skill set for sure. Thank you, guys.